Former wrestler and governor of Minnesota Jesse Ventura is certainly no fan of the Soviet Union. So perhaps he won't be all that thrilled to note that he is being lauded by the Russian-run television network RT for calling out the American Big Brother government over the film American Sniper. Then again, Ventura is the one who gave the propaganda network an interview slamming not only the movie, but the head of the U.S. Broadcasting Board of Governors for equating the Russian broadcasters with terrorist organizations. It's all part of the sideshow for Governor Ventura, who had a personal run-in with American sniper Chris Kyle years ago, was victorious in a lawsuit against Kyle's estate for defamation, and now is blasting away at Kyle for being anything but a hero. So over the top ropes we go. Newsmax anchor John Bachman gives us some in-depth here. John? Yeah, and a lot of people were scratching their heads at about that lawsuit because this all took place after the death of Chris Kyle. And, of course, you know what they say about success. It breeds contempt. And American Sniper, the movie, has made more than $200 million now since it first opened here in the U.S. But we can be sure Jesse Ventura, the former governor of Minnesota, will not be at a theater anytime soon. Ventura, despite winning that recent lawsuit against Kyle's estate, could not keep his mouth shut. He just came out with this statement. Former Navy SEAL Chris Kyle is not a hero because he is a liar. And, quote, you can't have honor if you're a liar. That is what Ventura has come out and said. Again, despite winning that lawsuit, he continues this. He has also dismissed the movie as war propaganda, saying the movie falsely connects the 9-11 terror attacks with Iraq. Now, last year, Ventura... Uh, also, a former Navy SEAL successfully sued Chris Kyle's estate. In that defamation lawsuit, he won almost $2 million. Now, Kyle's estate has since appealed. The ex-governor of Minnesota testified that a chapter in Kyle's book, the original version of American Sniper, was completely made up. Kyle says he and some of his buddies were at a bar following the wake of a fellow Navy SEAL when he ran into Jesse Ventura, and this is what he said. He told us that we were killing innocent people over there, children, that we were murderers, and... I said, you know what, we can all have our differences, that's, that's fine, but please just don't upset the family. Yeah. And then he said that, you know, we deserve to lose a few guys. Now, Kyle says he punched the man out, whom he later identified as the Minnesota governor, Jesse Ventura, but Ventura says it never happened, and he, and he was forced, forced to pursue the lawsuit against Chris Kyle. I would have been a big-time loser had I not pursued the lawsuit because of the lawsuit, the whole story was fabricated. I was accused of treason, which in the military is the death penalty. Now, Ventura may have won the court case, but he has since been slammed in the court of public opinion. However, ultimately, Ventura was vindicated, he says. The publishing company, HarperCollins, removed that passage from the book, and also the movie version of the story does not mention it in any way, shape, or form. But it's not over. As we mentioned, Chris Kyle's estate has appealed the court's decision, and Taya Kyle, his widow, says she stands by her husband's side of the story. Now, again, Kyle was killed back in 2013 on a shooting range while he was working with Eddie Ray Routh, a former a soldier who had PTSD. Routh's trial has been set to begin in Texas next month. Now, we'll have to see if Jesse Ventura can at least let that go on without uh, piping in here. But I spoke to uh, the publishing company, Ed, and uh, Taya Kyle was devastated by the, the uh, verdict here in this case. And they do vow to appeal uh, and also spoke to some other SEALs, too. And there's a, a lot of... Uh, a disagreement about what took place, uh, but it's not as cut and dry as that course, court case made everything sound. The funny thing is, I saw American Sniper this past weekend. I did not come away from the movie thinking that it was a rah-rah American piece. I came away of it thinking as a man who was there doing his job, had a very difficult and emotional time doing it, how it affected him, how he came home from it all. I mean, it was much more introspective. This was not a rah-rah war movie. This was about an individual. That's why I think Jesse Ventura's just got this all wrong. And I have to wonder if indeed, as many people have said to me in the last couple of days, maybe Jesse's just looking for a way to get back into the presidential race, please. Yeah, and Kyle, Kyle, Kyle was willing to take the heat for, for speaking so publicly about his job. That was also a little controversial as well with some of these Navy SEALs who had been taught their entire careers. Do not mention this. It's, it's part of our code not to talk about this, but it came to the point in the, in the government, uh, and of course with the Obama administration, already started to talk about the, the role that these SEALs had to play, and Chris Kyle felt like he needed to get out there and kind of define this discussion. So again, a lot of SEALs did not feel comfortable with the way he did that, but we know that this has resonated with the American public. Not as many people read the book that are seeing the movie, but I think a lot of folks also are going to go back and take a closer look at the book as well. I heartily recommend the movie. It was an absolute brilliant film. John Bachman, thanks so much, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. Our pleasure, Ed. All right, second hour of the Fastest Three in News. The likely new attorney general walks gingerly around various landmines. The stigma of post-traumatic stress from one who still faces it every day and hard reality for those who thought the Castro government would just roll over and be happy to get all those American dollars.